Namaste. Namaste. My my blessings to you and to all the listeners of Celestial Radio. Thank you so much. We would love to have your blessings here on this day. Blessings, please. Mm. I would like to ask you um, in this show today a, a few things really about enlightenment. Yes. But if we talk about that, can we mm. speak about your life, your childhood, and mm. what brought you to do this work? I was born and brought up in a very sacred pilgrimage town of India, the world's largest Shiva temple. The place is called Arunachala, and which boasts the unbroken lineage of enlightened masters for last 2000 years. I was born and brought up in that atmosphere and the whole atmosphere was charged with spirituality. From the young age, I had fortune of being trained by the great, great yogis and siddhas. And I used to do yoga, meditation early and listen to these great teachings from the Vedic tradition about enlightenment. Because of sincere practice, and the intense atmosphere, the energy field and amazing support by all the gurus from the place, from Arunachala, I had the fortune of having the enlightenment experience at the age of 12. If I have to describe that experience, it's like a experiencing that I am alive not just inside my skin but everything that exists. See, it is very unfortunate we restrict ourselves to our skin because of the fear. The existence itself becomes fear for us. Because the existence becomes fear we try to shrink ourselves as much as possible. You can see always, whenever you are afraid, you will lock inside you, yourself inside your house and feel safe. This pattern of shrinking yourself to be out of fear is one of the most life-shrinking, life-negative pattern. At the age of 12, fortunately, I was liberated from this pattern of shrinking. How much you feel you are alive inside your skin, the same intensity, with that same authenticity, I felt I am alive on everything that exists. So, based on this experience, my relationship towards the world, my relationship with human beings, my relationship with the nature, my relationship with myself, everything had a cognitive shift based on this experience. That is what I define as enlightenment. Enlightenment is the cognitive shift happens in you based on the experience you exist in everything that exists. Please go ahead with your next question. Thank you very much, Swamiji, for explaining that. We want to find out... Parveen, hope I am able to... My accent is okay? Your accent is just perfect. We are thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank Parveen. <laughs> thank you. Mm. We want to speak about what is inner awakening. We have so many powers inside us. The power of words, power of thinking, power of feeling, power of life. These are various powers we have inside. For example, a word which you utter can either make or break a relationship. 
the word we utter can make our life happy or break our life all this is a powers inside us in sanskrit we use the word kundalini shakti we have various multiple potential powers sitting inside us which is neither awakened nor used inner awakening is a process where i work on your body mind physiology psychology and consciousness to awaken all your potential powers like power of words power of thinking power of feeling and power of living ultimately the power to create a space to make whatever you want as the reality so the inner awakening is all about awakening the inner potential energy you carry through a time tested most authentic powerful ancient vedic secrets and techniques and methodologies next program i am going to be conducting this inner awakening in bali indonesia island in the coming month december 1st to 21st i invite you and all the listeners of this show to come and experience the inner awakening using the ancient vedic yogic secret techniques and methods please go ahead thank you swami ji and yeah. um, also as we speak about in awakening where yeah. does enlightenment come into all of this see see what i am saying when you awaken the power of words you become a powerful teacher orator just with words you will be able to inspire enrich millions of people same way if you awaken power of thinking you will have larger powers with you if you awaken the power of feeling in you you expand your life more if you awaken the power of life that is what i call enlightenment power of life means ability to create a space in you and make that space into reality it is possible it is possible i am not talking about something superstitious i am not talking about something impossible i know you are a spiritual teacher by yourself and you would have seen so many experiences in your life you are a reiki teacher so you know the power of visualization this enlightenment basically makes you understand the power of life and gives you the keys to create the space and make your space into reality as you want and i will also give one more understanding about enlightenment it is all about living in the peak possibility living in the highest human potential consciousness living in your peak energy so this inner awakening is all about living in your peak possibility see in our brain we have some mechanical parts of the brain like which controls your blood flow breathing digestion these are all mechanical parts of the brain but there is some parts of your brain non mechanical parts of your brain in vedic tradition we call that part as kundalini shakti that part gets awakened only when your kundalini is awakened when there is a coherent awakening of all parts of your brain mechanical and non mechanical parts you experience life in your peak possibility in all aspects of your life 
exponentially you go up and your quality and experience of your life zooms up so that possibility that experience is what i call inner awakening awakening all the non mechanical parts of your brain through the kundalini awakening is inner awakening that is what i call enlightenment yes parveen go ahead with your question next question